Talking Shirts is presented in partnership with White Oak Cottage. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode 82 of Talking Shirts. I'm Mike from Hawkeye Shirts and today we are going to take a look at the Boilermakers shirt. So we have covered the Boilermakers shirt before. We covered that in episode 74 where we took, took a look at Rowan Milne's uh, Boilermakers shirt. But on this occasion, we are back with Elliot Minchellas. So the, the Boilermakers shirt, it's an untold story that Hulk AR, uh told with this release. Uh, a young group of Boilermakers all the way back in the 1800s uh, was part of the, the team, shall we say, that formed Kingston Amateurs that then formed into Hull Kingston Rovers. The idea behind that is because there was a young group of Boilermakers, the design elements of the shirt contain blueprints of boilers from that period of time. An absolutely brilliant idea and something that I think the club and Oxen worked a, a sensational partnership on to deliver a shirt which is very, very good looking. Now the design elements of this don't come out too strongly on the, on the play version, especially in this artificial light that I am filming in today. But there's quite a lot of the design elements that feature throughout the shirt. The shirt itself is a British racing green colour, very dark, and then that is coupled with gold. So we've got IRS, FTP, Oxen, Hull KR Crest and the Connexen sponsorship there that all features in gold. Um, as I said in episode 74, this shirt doesn't have the gel grip patches which feature on the front there. Now, I've done a little bit of um, research and I've spoken to uh, collectors who collect Leeds Rhino shirts and collectors who also collect Castleford Tigers shirts. And we kind of came to the, the general assumption that these was probably made in a different factory. And that's why there's a lot of the standardised Oxen features that you see on a shirt year on year on year, which are different on these shirts. And that was the same with uh, Castleford's, uh, one of Castleford shirts and also the Rob Burrow shirt uh, that the Leeds Rhinos wore during the 2022 season. So yeah, um, there is some sort of differences. It, we, we think it might be because there was produced mid-season, which meant that the turnaround was shorter. Again, a lot of this is just general assumption um, from us guys, but we're just trying to sort of get to the bottom of it. As we look around here, again, RSV. That has been dye sublimated and we have also got the uh, the design elements going all the way around here. So I spoke about this one in episode 74 when we did talk about Rome Milnes, but this is probably the best place on the shirt, especially these player spec shirts, where you will see the intricacies of the design elements and the sort of the, the, the time and the thought process that has gone into uh, into designing this shirt in this sort of stitched on side panel here. We do have um, a design element that continues around the, the cuff there. And obviously we've got some lovely gold cuffs which just finish the, the shirt off nicely. As we go around to the other side, we've got Easy Buy and then we've also got the, the Better Fred Super League patch which has been heat applied. This one is starting to peel ever so slightly, um, but there is just the one under there. No need to change, no need to change at all. Cool, so before we uh, bring it around to the back and have a little word about Elliot Minchella, here's a quick word from our sponsor. White Oak Cottage is a two bedroom luxury holiday cottage set in the stunning Lincolnshire Wolds. It has two ensuite bedrooms, a hot tub, wood burner, Wi Fi, electric vehicle charger, and is pet friendly. It is ideally situated in the Wolds, yet only 15 miles from the coast and 25 miles from the historic city of Lincoln. For more information, visit whiteoakcottage.co.uk. Welcome back to episode 82 of Talking Shirts. Before the break, we were having a little look around Elliot Minchella's 2022 Boilermaker shirt and we are back with that one now. So the, the back of the shirt, the, we've got Harrison Solway branding and also the, the Hayabus uh, branding. Those have been dye sublimated into the shirt. Different to that of the home and away. That's why I feel like there was a, an element of not all being de developed um, at the same time. Um, that's why I believe there has to be some sort of difference in the time frames and the timelines that this shirt was produced to that of the home and the away. You will see that we have got the heritage number, which has been heat applied up here. So on this occasion, we've got Elliot Minchella and his is one, two, five, seven. That has been heat applied up there along with Minchella's name and then the number 17. Um, 
this shirt was worn by Elliot in both of the games that the club wore it. So that was against Wakefield and also against Wigan. Both of those fixtures taking place at Sulgu Craven Park. Uh, so there is a little bit of damage going on here. Quite a lot of tension, bit of pulling. There is some sort of stretch mark, shall we say, um, in the number there where there has been sort of a bit of torque applied to the shirt, likely um, in a tackle. Um, so yeah, quite a quite a few significant telltale signs. The fact that there was only one of these shirts produced as well does help me in knowing that this is the match one shirt, but I have also been able to photo match it up until the end of the 2022 season, which is at time of filming. Elliot Minchella has played 45 games for Hull KR, and in that time he has scored eight tries. Um, I'm sure that he will be wanting to add to that tally during the uh, during the 2023 season, um, and I wish him all the best um, in achieving that because he is somebody who has committed to the club long term, and he's a, a very big asset in my opinion to our club. Um, so for me to be able to add a match worn share of his into my collection, I am absolutely over the moon with that. So yeah, that's your uh, your tour around this 2022 alternative share I'm trying to get the the word in right because things keep changing and i just want to make sure that i'm actually speaking out the correct terminology to that that a share is being produced with so yeah i hope you've enjoyed uh, the tour around this one today definitely one of my uh, one of my favorites from an aesthetic point of view for sure so that's yeah that's it that's it everything now for episode 82 uh, please feel free to check back in another couple of weeks where i'll be back with a brand new episode of talking shares bye for now